Welcome. Today, I will show you how to make your local area network, LAN, faster. Increase your computer's internet speed from the command line. Easily fix slow internet speed without downloading any software. Works in Windows 10, 8, 7, and XP. This video is from kingsolutions.org.uk where you will find WordPress and small business solutions for non-techies. If you enjoy the content in this video, then consider clicking on the subscribe button. Ok, let us begin. The latest Windows versions, include valuable features carefully designed to optimize your internet and network speeds. Unfortunately, it is hard to say whether these settings are optimized as you would like. Because they are deeply buried in the system, with no obvious way to see how they are set. Many people do not even realize the options exist. If you are looking at optimizing your network performance, you should start by seeing which of these technologies is enabled. Modifying your system, especially the registry, can cause damage to your operating system. Do this solely at your own risk. I advise you to back up your system before continuing further. The following tutorial, is not for the faint-hearted, or newbies. To implement the steps in this tutorial, you will need, a basic understanding of, and be familiar with using, Windows Command Line, Windows Network Shell, NetShare, and Windows PowerShell. Test carefully. There are plenty of options to explore here, but be careful. Make a note of your original settings before you change anything, in case you need to restore them later. Only change one setting at a time. After implementing the changes, you must reboot your system for the changes to take effect. Find some objective benchmarks, like an online internet speed test, or the time it takes to transfer a set of files across your network, to measure the success, or otherwise, of any changes. LAN speed test light can be used for this. Repeat the tests a few times, and calculate the averages. This should put you in a good position to figure out which settings deliver the best results. The first thing we need to do, is examine the current TCP global parameters, and determine what settings need to be changed. The easiest way of doing this, is to use Windows Network Shell. Step 1, open your command prompt with administrator rights. Step 2, type, netsh, int, tcp, show global, at the command line, and hit enter to view your system's current settings. Make a note of these settings, just in case you want to undo your tweaks later. You can use this command, to view and verify, your system's current settings after each change. Chimney offload state, sounds a little cryptic, but the idea is to transfer various network connection processing tasks, from your PC CPU, to the network adapter, thus freeing up processor time. This is a good thing. By default, Windows will turn this feature on, whenever it detects your system's hardware can handle it. So, if chimney offload state, is enabled or automatic, then everything is working as it should. If chimney offload state is marked as disabled, turn it on manually. Type. Net sh, int, tcp set global chimney equals enabled. And press enter. If you have problems, to turn this setting off, open your command prompt with administrator rights again, and enter. Net sh, int, tcp set global chimney equals disabled. And press enter. Do not forget to reboot your system for the changes to take effect. NetDMA state. Windows also supports NetDMA, a technology that allows network adapters to transfer data directly to your application, without needing your system CPU to assist. This should be turned on. If this setting is marked as disabled, turn it on manually. Type. NetSH, int, tcp, set global net, dma equals, enabled. And press enter. If you have problems, to turn this setting off, open your command prompt with administrator rights again, and enter. Net sh, int, tcp, set global net, dma equals, disabled. And press enter. Do not forget to reboot your system for the change to take effect. Receive window auto tuning level. Windows also supports, rwin, auto tuning, and this can significantly improve system performance. If NetSH, reports auto-tuning level, as anything other than normal, then enter the command. NetSH, int, tcp, set global auto-tuning level, equals, normal. And press enter. If you find the setting slows your system down, or causes other issues, then simply turn auto-tuning off. Enter the command. 
NetSH, int, TCP, set global auto tuning level, equals, disabled. Do not forget to reboot your system for the change to take effect. ECN capability. Explicit congestion notification, ECN, provides a way for routers to signal network congestion without dropping packets. Whether it will improve performance or not depends on many different factors, including whether your router supports it. If NetSH reports your ECN capability as disabled or default, then enter. NetSH, int, TCP, set global. ECN capability equals enabled. And press enter. If your router doesn't support ECN, or your connection has no significant packet loss, then you probably need to leave ECN turned off. So if it's currently on, and you're not sure why, enter. NetSH, int, TCP, set global. ECN capability equals disabled. And press enter. Do not forget to reboot your system for the change to take effect. Add-on congestion control provider. A regular network connection will send data in small blocks initially, increasing these only gradually to help avoid network congestion. Compound TCP, CTCP, takes a different approach, ramping up your TCP window size much more aggressively. Enabling this may improve performance significantly. If you are using Windows 10 or 8, this next command will probably not work because, in their wisdom, Microsoft disabled the CTCP feature from Windows 8, NetSH. But do not fret, there is a solution. More on this later. If NetSH currently reports that your add-on congestion control provider is none, then, try entering the command. NetSH, int, TCP, set global. Congestion provider equals CTCP. And press enter. If performance is worse, turn it off entirely. Enter. NetSH, int, TCP, set global. Congestion provider equals none. And press enter. Do not forget to reboot your system for the change to take effect. Windows 8 and 10 CTCP problems. There is a problem with Windows 10 and 8 when it comes to setting. Congestion provider equals CTCP. Windows 10 and 8 says. The congestion provider parameter can be set using the NetSH, int, TCP, set supplemental command. The parameter is incorrect. But actually, that instruction does not work either. Congestion provider equals CTCP has been depreciated. To check which congestion provider you're currently using, enter the following. NetSH, int, TCP show supplemental. It should show the TCP global default template as internet. With Windows 8, TCP templates were introduced to configure TCP settings, and some of the old network shell ways of doing things were deprecated. There are four main templates, Automatic, Internet, Data Center and Custom. The Internet template is the default on all Windows 8 and 10 client machines. This is not configurable. By default, CTCP is set as the congestion provider on the Internet template. This is also the default on Windows 8 and 10 machines. To clarify, CCTP is set as default on Windows 10 and 8 systems. The client template is Internet and this cannot be modified on a client machine. This is why you get the error message, set supplemental command failed to set the global default template. You can see this by checking the Internet template in PowerShell, by running. Get net, TCP, setting. Pause the video, if you want to study this information in more detail. Next. Using PowerShell, run. Get net, TCP, connection. To see that the internet template is in fact, the applied setting, on your connections. In Windows 7, it was not the default. Unfortunately, when Windows Core networking gurus, started moving the TCP setting to the templates, they failed to keep NetShell updated. So NetShell, no longer works correctly. The congestion control provider setting, is being overridden by the internet template. This is a bug. The most reliable way to view TCP settings now, is through PowerShell. By the way, did you notice that ECN is disabled by default on the internet template? This decision was made because, incompatible networking equipment still exists on the core internet, and this can cause issues with Windows machines. Conclusion Windows does a very good job of auto-tuning your network settings, and this includes setting packet sizes, and the like. There may be a very good reason some of these settings might be disabled on your system, 
even if your network hardware supports them. For example, settings like DCA, chimney, NetDMA are good because they reduce the load on your CPU. On the other hand, if your network hardware is outdated, it is probably better for Windows to determine the best configuration. Also, if you are moving your computer from network to network, these settings are best left to Windows, as some networks might not work well with your force settings. So, as I stated at the beginning, beware of too much monkeying with these settings, unless you know what you are doing. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, then click on the like button below, and leave a comment. If you want to receive more helpful videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and check out the King Solutions website for more useful information. See you soon.